The mission of the IPU is to provide the best possible mental health care for consumers and their families during the acute phase of illness. What we strive to do is um, to consider personal and collaborative care for each individual that comes onto our wards. We understand that um, everyone has different experiences and has gone through different journeys in their life. And so here we really value their independence and their autonomy and take into consideration what type of care they best want and need. An individual may need an admission into the inpatient unit if they were feeling mental distress or they have a mental illness and they've deteriorated and may need a little extra support. When our patients are admitted here to the IPU, nursing staff will welcome them, orient them. They will run through, you know, your version of events of what's brought you into hospital um, and also clarify any concerns that you have about either your medications or situations at home and anything else that we can help with. We'll explain to you what you know the process of admission is going to look like. Once we've established their needs and how we can help then it's a process of prescribing a treatment plan. Treatment here in the IPU is really holistic. It's not just about medications. It usually involves a great deal of time spent with the patient, finding out what their needs are, and then developing a treatment plan that meets their needs. This may include medications, as we've mentioned, but it can also involve psychology, time spent doing some of our group activities and group work, working with our occupational therapists and social workers. We've got a diverse set of groups that we run here on in the inpatient unit. Um, we've got creative therapists. We have a chaplain for people's spiritual care needs, a dietitian, occupational therapy groups for sensory modulation and daily skills, and social work groups as well to support people with healthy relationships um, and connection and community. We're really well supported by the lived experience workforce as well, um, who support people with connection on the ward, as well as uh, preparing to go home. We have coffee on the couch, which is an opportunity for people to come sit together in a group in the community and talk about different topics that is aligned with the individual and their needs, because it's about having topics that are interesting for different people from different backgrounds. We have the art as a visual communication to help people and the participants understand what's going on, and then we can use that as an effective tool to communicate to the team what their needs are. How the groups benefit people. Social inclusion is a really big one. Um, Destigmatisation while um, Coming, on to, coming into the hospital and leaving hospital, as well as supporting people to develop skills that they might, that might support them once they leave. Having this like wraparound approach in hospital is really important because obviously when people are discharged from hospital, they go back into the community and their everyday lives where there are lots of complexities and we want to make sure that if you're going home, you will stay well and we find that this is a really good way to make sure people do that.